Hey, welcome back to my twine tutorial everyone. Today is a very special day, ladies and gentlemen. We are going to be publishing our pirate adventure on itch.io so that everyone can see the cool web game that you made yourself through twine and it's awesome. So you have played the story, you have done everything you've needed to do. You're like, yep, I look great. This is awesome. Everything works. So here's what you do. You go to your settings icon over your story and you click publish to file. It'll turn into a HTML file here and then with the name on it and then you can just save it to your downloads folder. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to itch.io. It's a great site. So you're going to need to make an account and it's very simple. Just uh, check your spam in case the registered email doesn't work. But this is the front page so that if you make your account and name yourself whatever you want. I'm LegoGuy3209, hit me up. You're going to go to upload new project. And here, here's where it all comes together. So cover image isn't really that important because it's pretty simple, but you can name your title. Uh, sale the car. Sale the seven C's. And then that'll automatically make your project URL. And then a short description, something like uh, sale the seven C's in this fun twine adventure game. And then you can either add a gameplay video, but the gameplay isn't that exciting. I feel like what really works is screenshots. So you can add these two. Uh, well, I took two screenshots of my um, game so far and added both of those. So those can pop up on there. And we're going to call it a game because you can play it. And then instead of the kind of project, you're going to want to hit HTML and then you go to release status. Mine is in development. I'm still working on it, but if you're finished, you can hit released. So that's cool. And then I feel like for a web game, it's really simple. Uh, mine, I'm going to hit no payments because if you do the zero dollars or donate, they're still going to like make people say, no, I'm good. I don't want to donate. So I guess I just go straight to no payments. And here's the most important part. You got to do your upload files. So to upload files, you hit this. And thanks to Twine, it's really simple. It's already saved on this convenient HTML file in your downloads. This one's actually in my Twine tutorial, but it's the same thing. And you just open it and boom, it's like, oh, oh, there it is, easy. And then click this file be played in the browser. It's very important you click this because that's the most important thing they have to do because then they're going to have to download it and that's just not going to be fun. You just want to play it in the browser. So you're going to want to embed in the page. And uh, I think auto detect size doesn't work that well. So you can do manually set size. Um, but you're going to off, of course, you're going to have this full screen button. That's what I have for every web development game so that you can make it full screen. So it's not that important as long as they see the full screen button, they'll make it work. Uh, I don't usually include scroll bars, um, automatically start the page on load cause it's easy. Uh, this is not mobile friendly. Unfortunately, I did not add that functionality into it. And then you add a fun little description like. that click the genre and we're gonna go with uh, adventure obviously and for tags for a story like this I like adding twine um, I like adding interactive fiction uh, and of course for this case we're gonna use pirates don't have any app store links custom nouns I like I like feeling special so I'm gonna call it a interactive story instead of game it's gonna call it interactive story and I think that's fun Comments are fine. Now you have to do draft first and then you save and view your page. And it's like, there you go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And it's like, see, it is small, but thanks to this little button right here. Boom. You can play the game in full screen. I love it. So, and then it's, ah, oh, yeah, I got that nice embedded image right there. So then you're like, yep, that's cool. I love it. Awesome little title. Everything's fine. You can edit your theme here. Say you want to make it, I can copy the same stuff I have before. Like I can make uh, the text a different color. I can make this like a nice yellow or a nice blue as you're sailing the seven seas, something like that. And for the background, something like a darker or a darker blue would work. Text is fine still. Change the font to something like sans serif or eh. you can select a Google font if you want. 
Leto really works in this case, and I like going very large because I don't got much. I'll go very large. Screenshots are auto, and then you can go for banner background or embed a background picture. I don't need any of that. I am good. I'm done. I'm saving. This is what I like. I'm actually going back to the default because it's kind of sketch, and I think I just don't want to go wrong, so I'm just going to go with that. Edit theme to pop that back in, and there you go. Now, one more thing you got to do you got to click up here on the draft icon, and this will take you to your um, edit game settings, and you want to hit public, configure settings, don't need to touch any of this stuff, just if people are curious, don't touch it. Click save, saved, you can view page, and now anyone can see it. You can also have a dev log if you continuously work on it. That's a handy little tool you can use for like, oh, I'm adding stuff to this. Itch.io really is a great site for little indie games like this. Um, so yes, go ahead and follow me here at LegoGuy329. Play Sail the Seven Seas, see how you like it, and link me your uh, little adventures on Twitch, on, sorry, not Twitch, on Twine, and I'd love to see it. This has been Joshua Hale, and I hope you enjoyed this little adventure into Twine.